Okay, so we're now looking at the second part of drawing an exploded diagram of our clock mechanism. So we've created a concentric centre line to line up all the parts of the exploded diagram and we've sketched out using a pencil lightly the components that we're going to use. I've started to use a rubber to now start to rub away some of my construction lines that I don't need. Don't worry if at this stage your drawing looks a little bit smudgy and you know you're, you're worried that it looks messy. As long as you've drawn lightly with a very sharp pencil you should be able to rub those lines out and clear them away. Now we've got a, a choice here. As you can see I've started to line in the main shape of the disc of the clock using a pencil. So when I'm happy with the shape I've started to go round and complete that shape. You can do this with a pencil or I'm going to start now using a fine liner because it shows up better on the camera and ultimately it probably gives a better illustration. So now I can start adding the details of each of the components. When I'm happy with the shape The next part I'm going to draw is our clock mechanism. So if we take a look at it, we can see it has rounded edges, a hook on the top to hang the clock up, and a cutout here at the back for our battery. So bearing that in mind, and we can start adding details. And here's where you can add details um, as much or as little as you want. If you don't have a clock to look at you could always um, search for a clock mechanism on Google and have a look at any additional details you think you'd like to add. So, there, having completed my clock mechanism and the small rubber washer component. Once I've done that with my fine liner, as I say, you could do that with a fine liner or with a pencil. I can use the rubber to carefully, once the um, ink from the fine liner is dried, I can use that to... That up. Now, you do have an option here of using coloured pencils. Even if you have a few coloured pencils, it does bring much more life to the drawing with an exploded drawing. Obviously, with an orthographic drawing, we wouldn't use um, but with the coloured pencils we can do that.
when drawing um, circles or ellipses it's quite nice to bring the, 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 the image round so that you're using the actual natural movement of your hand to draw these shapes you tend to get a smoother shape by doing it that way That part has just gone over the edge of that, which is not a problem at all, so we can draw this part as well. And then, obviously, this line, keeping this line is important, and this line should be a dash, dot, dash, dot, dash, dot. Obviously, it doesn't go over the part that goes underneath. So you can see there, I've made good progress with this. In the last part of the lesson we're just going to look at the... so you can now complete this as you can see with this colour I've used a, a mixture of coloured pencils to give a bit of texture to that um, so I, I used a mixture of colours there I've added colours onto here and in the last part of the lesson we're just going to look at adding the lettering.